Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Hell yeah, TNT. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know how long ago this was because I've been out of town, but I had it saved from some point. <laughs> um, in Germany, they arrested 25 people. They were all accused of plotting to overthrow the government. Oh, the Germany QAnon movement. So it says, German reports say the group of far-right and ex-military figures planned to storm parliament, the Reichstag, and and seize power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what they said was, it took. They did so. They they were obviously watching this for a while. It took three thousand cops to raid all of them at the same time and arrest them. Oh. But what this comment below said was like, like I don't think most people realize these people were trying to infiltrate the police and the army and get everyone yeah. involved. So to have 3,000 people, they had to vet every single one to make sure they weren't going to tip anybody off. Yeah. They had to like, dude, that is a giant operation. Like yeah. 25 people all over the country, like to the point, like that is just wild. And and the thing is, is that, okay, so a lot of people have likened this into the like, uh, a lot of movements that are going on currently in America with uh, right like, wing or left wing uh, or whatever. We, 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 far right, far right, far right wing stuff. Far, man. far, far, and far, yeah. far, far. Yeah, we're talking about like the Proud Boys, QAnon, like you know some of the more racially driven driven ones, which you know it's it's kind of weird, kind of a weird vibe. But uh, so people have kind of likened it to that, and it's like the same tactics are being used where you try to join the police force and then you try to find people who might share some of your like ideals and then you try to get them involved so that you have so you infiltrate like the military and the law enforcement yeah 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 and essentially you're like hey you know we're gonna we're gonna make a move a real coup yeah and that i mean and that's how the the one that happened january 6th they're saying is that that was more planned than people even realized oh yeah they're still busting people for that yeah but it's like you know there was actually like it wasn't just like one of those things that just happened. Oh, I have. A, it happened because a, people wanted it to little, happen. A, oh yeah. Well, and I mean, some of those proud boys have come out. <clears throat> they're get they're pled guilty to to uh, what's it called? Uh, conspiracy. Uh, the other word, but yes, it's essentially conspiracy. Um, somebody I know out for anonymity told me they were at work. And the FBI came in and took one of their co-workers out because they were there on January 6th. Took her and then arrested her boyfriend and their friend. And this just happened like a month ago. So like they're still coming out and getting randos that think they're they're scot-free from being there on January 6th. Like they just came into her work and were like, hey, come on. And she wow. resigned because, like, she's like, this. I'm going to be caught up in this legal battle for God knows how long or whatever. And all they did, he said, was wander around and take pictures. They didn't even, like, do anything, like, dirty. Like, they just were in there and, like, documented it online that they were, like, just taking pictures and walking around. So if you were in there, like, breaking shit and stealing shit, they're coming for you. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. They're coming for you. So, but they're still going to be brought up on... Trespassing, Un- unlawful entry, yeah, trespassing, stuff. breaking right. so and entering. If you were whatever. in there doing shit that was like yeah. breaking stuff or like yeah. whatever, like yeah, they're coming for you. Like, and the longer That's it takes nuts. before they come to get you, the worse you're gonna get it. That's so nuts. And like, I, I'm a hundred percent for it uh, because you, you should prosecute criminals. Right, right, right. But it's like that is nuts. And, you know, and, and I try to like think about like what, I, I watched that on TV that day. I happened. I was like, holy shit, that's crazy. And like, I try to think about like, okay, if I had went to something like that, and like you walk up and like the doors are open, and you're just like, oh, like. Like, would you think what I'm doing is federally illegal and I'm going to... If you weren't going in there to break shit. You're just some rando and you're like, oh, the doors are open. I'm going to wander around in here. Would I... Like, if I something like that happened, would I... If I was there, would I have wandered inside? Maybe. Maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't realize what you're doing is that bad, but you're... it's. And I'm sure sure a lot of people that they bring in say that. And I would hope that they would get, like... 
lighter sentences. Yeah, or, like you know, like maybe you a know what you're doing in there. Like a lot of stuff was on video. People were posting on yeah, Facebook and stuff. That's the thing. But like, yeah, so it's like I wonder, like these people, like you just go, you're like, oh, the door's open. I'm in here, I'm taking pictures. Yeah. Dur, 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 dur. But then again, you don't know if that lady at that woman's job was a. Uh, like you know, she could have been deep into it. Who knows? Yeah, because I mean, she could have been Grand Wizard of the there, Proud I'm Boys. Sure, they're monitor. They're, they're uh, what's what, what was that thing from nine eleven, where they can look at your look at anybody Patriot. Act. Yeah, yeah, they Patriot Act the mother effing out of those moments. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah. all their Good DMs. Job. <laughs> Good job, you guys were the ones who voted for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but like, uh, but yeah. Anyways, but but yeah, like it's it's a big ass deal, man. I want to know how. How, like, what is the mindset of a person that gets involved into a political, I don't know, gang? Like, there were those people who were going to kidnap some governor in Michigan or something. There was like 13 of them they arrested in our country. How are you so concerned with politics, with politics, they, that you decide to join a political cult? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Because there's a lot of cult-like behavior associated with these politics oh, on yeah. both sides oh yeah on both sides oh yeah it, i will it, say oh yeah it's not just it's not just red it's blue too. it's like do these motherfuckers realize that all politics is is allocation of funds it is what the government decides to spend funds on it is nothing else these social fucking issues look shut just let people do whatever the fuck they want and shut up <laughs> allocation of funds are we going to put funds into this school or this school that's what it is and if you ain't concerned with that then you ain't concerned with politics dude it is i you, just you I concerned mean, with a bunch of bullshit social issues where you should just mind your own fucking business dude i just couldn't i just can't believe that like yeah there's people who like i'm not that passionate about anything like i'm passionate about people minding their fucking business yeah i, mean, I guess that but it's just like <laughs> It's like somebody's like, Shut hey, do you want to do this up. thing? We're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing. We're going to take back the... I'm like... Take back? And, it's not still and here. They're, and they're like, motherfucker. You're like, still working at the same mechanic shop. You're still at the same auto zone. What are you mad about? I don't know, man. Nobody took your auto zone from you, sir. Nobody... Like, <laughs> like they feel like if they do something, then the auto zone will be better. Nothing has changed. I don't get it, man. It it um. You just can't say racial slurs or <laughs> homosexual. I want to be able to say my slurs again. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It was wrong to begin with. This is the thing: is that, dude, like I say, man, the country, every every country, every every people goes through growth. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Growth. We we came into this world when we were barbarians and we were killing each other and going to a coliseum and you'd watch people kill each other and that was that was beautiful. That was what we did. And then one day somebody's like, you know what, maybe that's a little inhumane. Yeah, this is a little fucked up. So then we were like, all right, cool. We're going to stop that. <laughs> we're going to stop doing that. Right, right. And then we were like, hey, yo, women don't matter. And we were like, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to take whatever woman we want. I'm going to come home and we'll smack her down. And you were like, you know what? Maybe that's a little fucked up. Right, right. Then all these people, their skin color is different. We're gonna take them, and we're gonna do. And like, oh, you know what? That's kind of maybe fucked that's up. fucked so, up. Yeah. And like, <laughs> and, you know, up. like yeah. And it's slowly, slowly over time, yeah. more and more things. And like, it's like, oh, uh, you know, I make fun of the gay kid in my in my class, and he kills himself. And you know what? Maybe that's fucked up. Right. So right. maybe we should stop. Yeah. And then there's always people who are just like, I just still wish I could make fun of. <laughs> like, do it. You can do it in your home. Do it. I mean, we you can do, you, you you can so do it anywhere you want. We got freedom of speech, but you just have to pay consequences for what your words are. That part. And, and can, I feel I there stand should in be the street right now and scream all the slurs I want. And this is the thing. It's like as a country, we decide which things are and aren't OK. And it's not OK to touch kids. Right. It's not okay to kill. It's not, and we have decided these. It's not things. Not okay to abuse animals. In other countries, guess what? It's okay to do those some some of these things. Yeah, some other countries, age of consent's like thirteen. Exactly. Some other countries, they kill you if you talk bad, ill about the government. We decided over here we didn't want that, and it is implemented. Right. If, 
things get implemented by popular vote. This is the one true thing I think that is decided by the that American people is things that we implement into common society. And it is by the court of public opinion that you will be judged and cancellation is no more than ostracization for for behavior that we've decided it's to not be acceptable. It's the scarlet letter of the 20 20- 21st century. Yeah, but it's for any behavior that the community, the public, yeah. the people of this country deem unacceptable. And if you can't come to terms with the majority of people in this country deem whatever behavior is unacceptable, then you will be ostracized. You, you will leave. be canceled. You can leave. Yeah, you will lose your job if you're racist nowadays. And that is the most beautiful thing that I feel America can do is that we grow we become understanding to the people who are a part of this country, and we will not tolerate if you do not adhere to what America has decided. As a majority. Right. Yeah, because and that's why the power of vote is so important. Because you can't... That goes beyond politics to me, though. Right. Like, it's you not can't even, vote that's not for a political thing. Well, oh, oh, you mean like, oh, just the quarter public opinion. Just like... And it's not even it's not even like there's a vote for it. Just more people are like, hey, making fun of gay people is wrong. And eventually yeah. there's eventually it's more than there isn't. And it's like, hey, and smoking you, is good. Hey, smoking is good. Hey, smoking is bad. Hey, ooh, you that smoke. part. We don't smoke no more because of people. That wasn't because of necessarily because of the government. And I understand there's a ruling against Philip Morris, but that's because people have come to the idea of like, I'm not doing that shit. Right. Right. I'm not exactly. putting that in my body. Exactly. And there's so. people that, and, and I still think cigarettes could be available if you want to fucking kill yourself do it go ahead please they are and they are yeah so anyways oh you got me passionate on the last one of the week man that's uh that's all the time we got for today's episode please go to the crazy town.com passion for uh jonas tnt oh yeah